Welcome to Coffee Break with Tara by Laura. Good morning. Good afternoon. Um, I'm looking at the Instagram live. It looks yellow. I don't know why it looks so bad. The video is like so weird. But anyway, <laughs> how's everybody doing? I hope you're all doing okay. Enigma. 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 And Jemima, oh my God, I cannot read. <laughs> and Diana Aguilera, how are you, honey? Uh, welcome, everybody. Thank you for being here. Um, today we're going to have the tarot reading for the week. Uh, Rainbow Wolf is here. I love that name, and Jemima. That is so funny. Great day to you as well. Um, hi, Gabby. So where is everybody connecting from? Because I know Gabby is in Mexico and uh, Kula Beauty is here in Chicago. Diana's in Chicago. So where is everybody else connecting from? I always like to know where people is connecting from. Um, today we're going to have a tour reading for the week. And um, if we have time, I'm going to have a oracle as well. Kula Baby from San Luis. Oh, I thought you were here in Chicago. And Angie Baima in Chicago. Rainbow Wolf is in Joliet. And Sparkle Marie is in the Indiana. Teresa Alvarez, I know you're down the street. <laughs> and Diana, I know you're here in Chicago as well. Diana, you're in Pilsen, right? Or am I mistaken? If I'm assuming something wrong, please correct me. Anyway, um, happy holiday. Good holiday. Most of you are probably having the day off. Uh, I do not. I'm here <laughs> working for you. But if you are having a day off, um, enjoy your day off. Um, I did a podcast yesterday. I was actually interviewed. I was on the other side of the podcast. I will hang the link on my Facebook page so you can listen to it. And um, to a different aspect of me, not only the tarot, but actually the working on podcasts and how I've been podcasting for so many years and all of that. And that is on my Facebook page on Tarot by Laura Gonzalez. And um, you'll see the link there. This week, tomorrow, we're going to have open house here in Bridgeport from um, 3 p.m. to 8 p.m. And um, the rest of the week, I'm going to be preparing because I'm going to Indiana. Um, oh, Bolingbroke. Okay, Diana, thank you. I'm going to Indiana Pagan Pride, and that is going to be so much fun. So I will be on the Fort Wayne Indiana Pagan Pride on Saturday, teaching a couple of workshops and doing tarot readings, of course. So without further ado, let's see what the goddess, God, has to say. Uh, also, International Goddess Day yesterday. September is the goddess month. So for those of us who follow the path of the goddess, this is a beautiful time. Um, we have three cards. The first one is the Knight of Wands. We are called into action. We are calling to move in forward and bringing our passions into action. This is actually a card of movement because it's a knight. So um, when the knight moves, because it has received he or she, they have received instructions to move forward and to charge ahead into their projects. So I will say this is a moment to go ahead and do what you need to do. Um, also, it's a day off. So it might be indicating, you know, go out, enjoy the sun, uh, the last day of summer, basically, for a lot of people. Uh, you also have the Hermit Reverse. And that is confirming that we ought to be out there doing stuff, right? Again, I know it sounds very ominous, but supposedly the last day of summer. So go ahead and do your thing. And last but not least, we have a Magician Reverse. And the Magician Reverse could be read, could be interpreted also by a card, like a card of not doing much, kind of like taking a day off, if you will. Uh, but it also is a card of let's not try to be the mighty powerful person today. 
uh, or this week at least, you know, a lot of people are coming back to work, the summer's over, um, they're, they're kind of like getting into their group again. So I will say, yes, you've been told to, to move ahead and to charge. Uh, don't try to make sure that everything is perfect on day one, you know, give yourself time to kind of like get back into your group. <laughs> it's been a beautiful summer. Uh, officially, it doesn't end until the 20 something, but you know, with the hurricane, we've been having some kind of weird climate here in Chicago because we're killing the earth and that's why we're having this weird climate everywhere. Anyway, uh, let's hope we can still bring actions to save our planet and keep existing. Let me pull a Oracle card for all of us for this week. And I'm using the Four Agreements Oracle cards. And the agreement for today is don't take anything personally. Refuse to eat emotional poison. Look at that beautiful message. Refuse to eat emotional poison. Taking things personally makes you pray for predators. They can hook your intention with one little opinion and feed you whatever poison they want. Refuse to eat poison. It's a beautiful message. Taking things personally makes you pray for predators. They can hook your attention with one little opinion and feed you whatever poison they want. Refuse to eat poison. Don't eat the poison that others try to give you. Um, do your own thing. Be happy by all means. And um, hi, everybody on Insta. Instagram Live, I think I learned how to make it work. Uh, IGTV, the video will be post later. Of course, Facebook Live and also on uh, YouTube, Terror by Laura. But um, like I say, I will I will hang the link with the podcast that I did yesterday. I was actually interviewed, which is odd because I'm usually the one interviewing people. And um, also, International Goddess Day, for those who celebrate, may you be blessed. And I'll see you Wednesday with oracles reading for, you know, the middle of the week. And until then, never forget that you are loved. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, Facebook.